everybody, my name's Gary and welcome to Outdoor POV. Today we're going to go from Suter Lighthouse to the lighthouse at the end of uh, South Shields uh, Sea Wall or Pier. I'm not too sure what they call it. Um, so I had such a good time the other week at Hartley Pool that I thought I'd come north this time and share with you another piece of northeast coastline that I have really enjoyed over the years and I hope you guys too. And that's about it. I think it's going to be just over four miles. Sea walls and a bit of promenade and uh, some fishing ships at the end, hopefully. Cheers. So, yeah, there's suit, suit of lighthouse. To our left, North Sea straight ahead. <coughs> all the trails are going to be, all the paths, sorry, a little kind of mixture of these tarmac paths, cliff top trails. I'm not going to go on the beach, uh, <clears throat> so I'll just be wearing road shoes. For this run, it's been quite dry. <clears throat> and if you're looking for some road shoes, you won't go far wrong. Checking out company like Northern Runner up in Newcastle. Got a good team. Up there, with years of knowledge, you know, I would say also check out all your local running stores at the moment if they've got an online presence. <clears throat> I know they can't, a lot of them, sorry, can't open their regular shops, so they kind of rely at least on online sales at the moment. So yeah, you know, I'm supported by Northern Runner. I'm quite biased towards those guys. <clears throat> but a lot of towns have a rook, a, a running store, sorry. So anyway, we've just ran past uh, Suter Lighthouse, which is owned by the National Trust. And it's, it's great actually, it's quite a small place. It's very interesting. Um, so if you're a National Trust member, <coughs> you'll get in there free. And because I'm always motivated by my belly, I have very fond memories of the um, cafe, restaurant. <coughs> I don't know what they serve now, but I used to get kind of traditional food that I remember seeing my mom or dad would cook when I was younger. So things like panakali, which is a corned beef potato stew, which uh, I, think I'm, I think I enjoy it more now as an adult, fueled by kind of these childhood memories than I did at the time. But another good thing about this well, section, sorry, the North East Marathon Club have their annual, you know what's changed, sorry, I'm going to use some misinformation here, but they used to have a free marathon, members only marathon. Obviously, he didn't hasn't gone ahead this year, <clears throat> and you would do a roughly a six mile loop around the Lees area, um, which kind of basically takes you from one end of South Shields to just past Suit to Lighthouse. So 
So I would Google Northeast Marathon Club or NEMAC. I don't even think you have to have run a marathon to be in this club. It's super cheap and even the events are super cheap. <clears throat> but there's no frills. So if you think you're going to turn up and get massive goodie bags, excuse me, um, loudspeaker systems, you're getting none of that. It's a lovely view. There's been quite a lot of uh, erosion here, so the, it seems like every time the path gets moved, oh my goodness me, this is quite fresh. <clears throat> but yeah, check out the Northeast Marathon Club, they do loads of local events from Hexham race course, I've done that marathon a couple of times and uh, Hampsley Forest, they used to do marathon there Newcastle Town Moor that was the first marathon I ever enjoyed and it was the uh, place I ran my 100th marathon so that's very special for me Oh, I should have stayed up. Hi. Oh, sorry. I should have stayed up there. It's easier up the top bit. <laughs> yeah, that was great doing my 100th marathon. Especially on the town moor. Signed up by friends. Sedgefield Harry's and the marathon club made a right fuss of me, so pretty special day and they made an arch actually a human arch at the end it was great so me and my son George ran the last little bit together <clears throat> I totally didn't expect it the arch that is and it was quite funny at the beginning because um, quite a few people from Sedgefield do take part in marathon club Northeast Marathon Club events, but there was a lot of people this time round. <clears throat> so I was like, oh, I kept seeing all these faces I recognised and people I knew. So I kind of knew something was up. So ahead, it's quite an interesting place. Marsden Grotto, Marsden Rock down there. And uh, this is pretty much the start, near the start, sorry, of where the free marathon, the Northeast Marathon Club free marathon. There's a little car park, there's public toilets there, just if you need to know stuff like that. <coughs> but this Mars and Rocco, Rocco Grotto, um, is a pub, and you get a lift down to the little beach there, Marsden Beach. And uh, yeah, enjoy some booze or some food. And on a sunny day, it's lovely. But for some reason, I don't know why, it seems to have always struggled, this pub. <coughs> there you go, National Trust, Belize. Now there's some steps to the lift. That you take you take you straight down to the pub. There's also um, some steps down to the beach. If the steps are open, go down. And we come straight back up again. Pain display here, so be careful. Alright, so we can go down. Let's check it out. I think they're doing some work actually to make access easier. Well, 
Sorry, I just squeezed past. Oh, sorry, yeah, Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, sorry about that, a little bit. Um, GoPro just keep, kept crashing and uh, said it had repaired the files. We'll see. Teach me, trying to multitask. So, Marsden Grotto, Marsden Beach. <coughs> I've had a few people saying, Oh, you gotta be careful when you're running and talking. And I'm like, No, that's fine. <laughs> it turns out it's not fine. So we're off again. Now Lisa dropped me off <coughs> earlier. And the plan is she's gonna park up in South Shields <coughs> and then jog back and hopefully meet me. So if you wonder <coughs> who this random woman is. <coughs> That's my wife. Right. I can see uh, South Shields Lighthouse in the distance. Or at least I can. <coughs> so yeah, I really like Marsden Grotto and it looks like they did some work there. I'm not too sure why, but like I said earlier, it always seems to struggle. But such a nice piece of course like this with little little beers. Yeah, fingers crossed the footage works. I guess if you're watching this, then it has worked. And I think that up there, I'll go this way, shall we? That's not is it? Oh, my memory's terrible. Well, there's a point on the Great Northern where you come down a bank. That bank doesn't look steep enough. Anyway, you come down a bank, you take a sharp left and then you Head to the finish of the Great North Run. <clears throat> that could be actually, I don't know. Every time I've done the uh, Lee's Marathon, I tend to get a bit lost and usually it's around this bit, you've got a little junction and we, this time round at least, 
we're going to drop down quite low <coughs> and I think there's a the beach itself there is called Grain Sands Beach it's such a nice sea so calm some boats out there got wind farm And at the end of uh, Graham Sands Beach, there's a, a gun post. I'm pretty sure it's just a replica at the moment. That's was there since World War II. So hopefully we'll see it. Hopefully it's there. And hopefully um, I'll go the right way. And. Uh, Many leases don't miss each other. <coughs> She's got the car key. I'm hoping it's no more than four miles this run. I don't want to be running for ages. I think for you guys, either just following along to see what I'm doing or on a treadmill, it's long enough. And also the editing, my goodness me, anybody who does any kind of YouTubing the editing takes so long. <coughs> so yeah, I think we're going right still. I think. That's been quite a good week for running so far. I'm not too sure if you know, I'm not too sure if I've shared it, I don't think so. I'm really struggling with motivation to do um, kind of hard sessions, quality sessions. I'm not struggling. quite a lot of erosion there so yeah I'm not struggling to go for a run you know I run with Rex every day pretty much every day actually and I absolutely love that <coughs> and I run quite a lot kind of filming for this YouTube channel and I enjoy that too but to go out and do a hard session Especially on my own, it's a real struggle. And I'm sure that's quite common for a lot of people. So don't feel, don't beat yourself up. Everybody from time to time suffers with motivation. So basically, you know, because you know, if you've been running for a while, you know that a, a hard session is gonna be hard and it's gonna involve a certain amount of discomfort <clears throat> but today sorry this week yeah I can't complain this week so I've done I think so far I think 50 miles of running, I've got the weekend to go, long run, 
So that's pretty good. And also I've done two quality sessions. One of them is was three times ten minutes with a two minute kind of jog walk recovery and the 10 minutes speed or effort was the kind of called threshold effort <coughs> and we did that did that on my own and I was really pleased that I didn't swerve the session and then um, yesterday last night I did a minute session so that's basically one minute on one minute off and the effort for that if it was a flat surface or a track and maybe you'd kind of do it at like 5k pace <clears throat> but I was kind of night nighttime trails so oh this looks like I was at nighttime trails, so the effort was correct, but the speed um, was a bit off. Yeah, right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's hey. quicker than I thought. Yeah, yeah. I took a bit longer than I thought, actually. <laughs> I fell over, Lady. <laughs> Where well, I tripped, sorry. Was <laughs> I tripped, I was going, I went down the steps at uh, Marsden Grotto. Oh, dear. Just to check them out and coming back up, I tripped on the step. <laughs> I don't think it was spectacular. Oh, <clears throat> Not as spectacular as on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a theme, isn't it? come up north and it's fall over um but the camera kind of packed up on me oh, no. yeah so started up again so there's going to be a, a, a cut well what can you do such is life there's some surfers just as you know with the puppies uh-huh opposite okay cool yeah lots actually away in the corner there must have been some half decent waves it's pretty calm some, now yeah at some point because they look pretty flat they're sitting there patiently <laughs> Wait. waiting so i've done 2.3 miles now <coughs> put you on two oh wow so had a bit of a tap with parking but i ended up on the road up near the pub. I so for the sorry. Yeah, I couldn't make out if, if there was free parking or not. Didn't say it on the machines but nobody had. Oh goodness me. Okay, fingers crossed. <clears throat> so you parked near the seawall. Pee your thing. No, near the pub. Oh like yes, yeah. Okay. This uh this section of the run has taken me a bit longer than I thought. It's further than I remembered. The loop mustn't be kind of exactly in the middle. Yeah. You're probably right. <coughs> Especially those events and get all over the place. Have you been able to see the boat coming into some big boats that I'm waiting? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've not seen any much movement but yes definitely. So where do you think they're, they're waiting to go into time? Yeah the port of time. Oh, uh, Proper quite a busy port there now. <coughs> it's a shame. It's not the right time of day, but it's a shame the Newcastle to Amsterdam ferry. Oh. Right. right. I think it's still running, isn't it? I mean, it's the wrong time of day now, but... I think it is, even during Covid, I think it's still going. 
put it in the distance and we'll see it better soon. Newcastle or the Priory, North Shields. It's coming into view now, isn't it? So yeah, we're going to drop down now to right to Graham's Beach. Now, if you're doing the Lee's Marathon and you find yourself coming down here, you've gone the wrong way <coughs> because you actually run this section in the opposite direction. I don't think it's the end of the world if you do this loop in reverse, but uh, if you want to be faithful to the course <coughs> or the direction of the course, then you've gone a little bit wrong. We'll be coming off the trail soon. And on the promenade, with the bright lights of South Shield. Super busy on the promenade today. Oh wow. Lots of dog walkers and kids on scooters. It's a holiday, or are they young kids? Yeah, younger. Some kids might be off because I know with some of the primaries. Yeah. In infants, they're taking it in turns each year to go in. Oh, I see. So, Thank you. different years going on different days. I know that's something that some schools are doing. So, I think this beach is Graham Sands Beach. I could be wrong. It's quite a nice spot. And you can just see the artillery post that I mentioned earlier. up there <coughs> oh is he fishing or is he photography fishing. fishing you just see a tripod and I never know well those lines stretch for absolute miles don't they and I don't know about miles <laughs> you just can't see them you'll see quite a few hopefully on the pier it's very popular with fishermen Sea fishermen. It's so still out there, those turbines on the sea are just not moving. Yeah, yeah, they're all. stationary. <coughs> I thought I'd freeze with shorts on, but. I wish I had put them on you now. Thank you. Cheers. <clears throat> I think one year actually, the very first time I did a marathon round here, this was the start and finish. I have a memory of uh, coming here at least. I remember dropping you off, it's very, very foggy and cold. And Melanie was running in the vest again. <laughs> yeah. I think I've only ever seen her in a long sleeve top once. So we're now kind of classic small South Shields now. And I think this is technically called the promenade. <coughs> Very busy, and popular. <coughs> I've run for about three miles, just over three miles. Super busy. And there, at least is right, there's some surfers out. Oh, kind of moved <coughs> over a bit now. Oh, that's great that they got a bit of surf going. I Okay. 
so we're coming up to um i think it's uh it's like a track you can't really see it to our left behind this kind of raised bit sure it's an athletics track and uh, i think uh could be the home of south shield harriers Just over the fence, see oh, the fence. Right. You've got a surf school up here too. I think maybe in these shipping containers. <laughs> and uh, this fancy thing to the left too, which you might just be able to see. Tower from here, doesn't it? Yeah. For an airport. Well, it used to be um, definitely a public toilet and maybe a bandstand, <coughs> but uh, local fish, fish and chips place, Coleman's, acquired it and built a fancy fish fish restaurant. It's somewhere where I'd love to go. We well, haven't unfortunately just yet. <clears throat> That's that building there. So yeah, if you're at South Shields and you fancy some fancy seafood, check that place out. I've never been, but I've heard it's fantastic. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I can smell the chips. And the vinegar. Now this little hut here, Tony Minchilla's, Minchella, sorry, he, um, he's like the local ice cream person. <coughs> Nobody else seems to get looking actually, it's all, it's all him. Like, but his ice cream is really nice, can't argue with that. And uh, fingers crossed, when we finish the run, <coughs> We'll uh, get an ice cream from there. You better, that's the only reason I'm running. <laughs> I'm running for chips. <laughs> oh yes, the amphitheatre. I would have jumped that. If I wasn't on camera, I would have jumped that. Yeah, Coleman's fish, whatever it is, very nice. Got the amphitheater there, and in the summer, <coughs> and obviously when there's no COVID, they have uh, bits and bobs events and stuff take place there. You got Minchilla, Minchella's, more of a sit down ice cream parlor. Yeah, it's really funny you get these little um, cheese toasties, but they're in a plastic bag. <coughs> and they pop it in the toaster with the bag. Yeah. We always find quite amusing. I've never seen them anywhere else, but <laughs> for all, the, we must have been coming here, like, as a family, well over 10 years. Both of our children, we've, we've come here with, and Esme is now, 14, I was thinking she was 13, which is 14, no. Classic dad, bad dad. Um, so yeah, 14 years we've been coming here. Oh, you've got some little chalets too, if you fancy that. Well yeah, 14 years and they've, they've been pretty faithful to their plastic bag toasties. They do a nice coffee, but the star that shows the ice cream. Now I'm debating. I love the hundreds and thousands, all the colours, and I love the got such a sweet tooth. But they're nuts and ice cream. They like, dip it in nuts. Oh. I'm salivating just thinking Chocolate about it. Nut sundae, that's my favourite. With the wafer and the cream on the top. You've got um, oh, it's a platform 33 there. This kind of pub, which uh, has a a train carriage. I've never been in. 
curious side of me always would like to go in there but I've never been in for food so we've got the uh, oh, mini donuts too this is uh, quite torturous Yeah, you got Ocean Beach. Fun fair coming up. I'm pretty sure that'll be closed. But to the right there, you've got a skate park and stuff like that, which is great. And also over the road to the left, you've got a South Marina Park, which again, we spent a lot of time there. You've got a mini train. You know, if I say mini train, I'm like a magnet to it. I absolutely love the mini train. Um, uh, just a nice park, a pond. Um, you can get on a pedlo if you want to. On the yeah, pond. that's right, you can get a pedlo. Uh, what else? I think they've even got another minchillas there. So you can get ice cream. And they've got a great park too, actually, for younger children. <coughs> All right. There's no entry. It's shut anyway. Spooped it up. So it's not exactly uh, Blackpool Pressure Beach or Altland Towers, but it keeps younger children occupied. And it just get you know, it's all shields. It's just another thing to do, you've got loads, you've got great running. You know, you've seen what we've done today. You've got parks, you've got coffee shops, you've got ice cream parlours, fish and chips, you've got a fun park. You've got skate parks. There's a bit of a town centre too. Just all in all, it's, I think it'd be quite a nice place to, to live really. It's got a lovely beach. And, um, for all the years that we've been coming here, there. they've always maintained it pretty well. So we should be just getting on the seawall soon, and you can see ahead the, the priory. So yeah, I've done four miles, it's quite a lot. Further than I'd hoped. <coughs> oh, it's so flat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's so calm. <coughs> So I wonder if we can get all the way along to the end. Yeah, I wonder. I don't think so, you know. Well, we'll go and have a look and see what it's safe. It might only be permitted for the fishermen, but... Yeah. I thought it'd be quite nice, um... Lighthouse to lighthouse. Yeah. But it's not well, meant you'll to... you'll be able to see it, but not touch it. <laughs> Unlike, uh... Teesside. Looks like the people are all being... Yeah signs and not going further but this place has normally got quite a lot of sea fishermen oh someone's doing his rocky work out there picking up rocks <laughs> doing his oh. kind of shoulder presses that's Door brilliant gym. that's fantastic a lot of people have put excuses in the way where they can't do things and that guy's just like i'm gonna pick up these rocks do it. It's probably doing a YouTube video though. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him a subscribe. <laughs> so this looks like it's it, no trespassing. <clears throat> there is some money down there.
so that's it uh, i'm about four and a half miles just under four and a half miles uh some nice trails and some nice coastal paths uh hopefully some nice views and a bit of knowledge about kind of south shields and the local area um, so if you do want to come to this little corner of the uk i'm sure you won't be disappointed there's lots to do lots of things to see um right the maintenance at the end of the video is so yes if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you think somebody else might like it then please give it a share and if you'd like to see more videos from the outdoor pov then please subscribe thanks again for watching um take care everybody and i will see you all soon cheers bye bye